Welcome to our section, how to find the mean, the median, and the mode. First of all, what is the mean, the mode, and the median? These are your central measurements, and they just give you a middle value when you have a data set. Let's go ahead and learn how to calculate them. The mean or the average arithmetic mean is the same thing. If they ask you for the mean or the average, the only thing that you have to do is to do sum of all of the values divided by the number of the values. For example, let's say that they ask me to find the mean of this data. Well, I'm going to go ahead and grab 3 plus 4 plus 9 plus 10 plus 11 plus 5. And I'm going to divide that by, let's count that, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Once I do that, I get that 3 plus 4 plus 9 plus 10 plus 11 plus 5 is equals to 42. 42 divided by 6, because you have 6 numbers, is equals to 7. Therefore, the average arithmetic mean or the mean of this data is going to be 7. Let's do another one. Let's say they ask me to find the mean or the average of negative 10. 0, negative 9, and 11. Again, you just do negative 10. Yes, you keep the negative sign because remember that negative belongs to the 10. Then you have 0, minus 9, and 11. And you're going to divide that by, let's count it, 1, 2, 3, 4. And I do count the 0, and that's going to give me negative 8. When you add negative 10 plus 0 minus 9 plus 11, that's going to give me negative 8. Negative 8 divided by 4 is equals to negative 2. Beautiful. Let's do the median. Now, in order to find the median, let's say that you have the following data. The first step is to arrange it from least to greatest. By the way, you can also do it from greatest to least. It's up to you. I like to do it from least to greatest. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. I see that 1 is, is actually the least number, so 1, 3, 4, 7, and 19. Then you're going to go to the second step. I'm going to eliminate the extreme values. Let's get rid of them. Kill this guy, kill this guy, get rid of this guy, get rid of this guy. And the only one that I have left is the 4. Therefore, the median is equals to 4. It's just that easy. Let's do one a little bit more complicated. Find the median of the following data. Here I have negative 0, 123. Well, remember, step one, go from least to greatest. So I have negative 3, 0, 2, 10, 20, 123, and so on. Let's get rid of them. So this one, I get rid of this one. I get rid of this one, I get rid of this one, and then I see that I have two values, and I said, okay, which one I should get rid of? Well, you can. So what I'm going to do is the average between 2 and 10. Well, how do I do that? We just learn it. I do 10 plus 2, and then I divide it by the number of values that I have, which in this case is 1 and 2, which is equals to 2. 10 plus 2 is 12. 12 divided by 2 is equals to 6. Bingo. I found that my median is equals to 6. Conclusion. When you have something like this, as you can see here, when you get rid of the, the extremes, you have two numbers left. When this happens, just follow the following rule. Just go ahead and find the mean of those two numbers and you'll get the answer. Beautiful. Another one. Now let's understand what is the mode. This is the, the easiest one. This is the most repeated value. So if they ask me to find the mode of this data, I just look for the value that is the most repeated. In this case, I have negative 1 here, negative 1 here, negative 1. Bingo. I see that negative 1 is repeated three times, so my mode is going to be negative 1. Sometimes you can have no mode at all, or you can have maybe two modes. And when you have two modes, that's called a bimodal. bimodal. Your turn. Find the mean, median, the mode of the following data. Let's see if you can remember how to find the mean. Well, I'm going to give you one second and you tell me what is the first thing you should do.
You got it. Add 1 plus 6 minus 3 plus 6 plus 8 plus 0 and divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Beautiful. 1 plus 6 is 7. 7 minus 3 is 4. 4 plus 6 is 10. 10 plus 8 is 18. 18 plus 0 is just 18. 18 divided by 6 is equals to 3. Now let's find the median. Well, remember, I need to do it from, organize these numbers from least to greatest. Negative 3, 0, 1, 6, 6, 8. Perfecto. Let's get rid of the values. 1, 2, 3, 4. And don't cheat. I know that I put the answer before. Remember, since I don't have, I need to figure it out the, the average between these two values, which is 1 and 6. 1 plus 6 is 7, 7 divided by 2 is 3.5. Finally, can you give me the mode? Well, the mode is 6 because it's the value that I repeat the most in my data. Love it. I hope you learn a lot. And again, thanks so much for learning.